Greetings to you. Welcome to today's episode of Boss of Wisdom. And the title for today is God Will Not Fail You. I repeat, God Will Not Fail You. Our open scriptures, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 6 to 8. We're reading from the Amplified Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 6 to 8 in the Amplified Bible says, Be strong, courageous, and firm. Fear not. No, be in terror. By the way, this is Moses talking to Joshua, all right? He's speaking to Joshua. So let me just take it from the beginning. Joshua, he's speaking to Joshua, says, Be strong, courageous, and firm. Fear not, nor be in terror before them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Powerful verses. Moses said, Joshua, hang on. God will not fail you or forsake you. In life, we face many challenging situations. In, in life, we face some situations that are, that are seemingly hopeless in our own eyes. But Moses tells Joshua something very powerful. He says, hang on, Joshua. <laughs> hang on, Joshua. God will not fail you or forsake you. Now, Moses is well qualified to talk like that. He was there when they came out of Egypt, when he faced Pharaoh and was able to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. He was there when they crossed the Red Sea. He was the one who hit the rock and water came out. I mean, Moses is talking first and he knows as he was the leader. And he's telling Joshua, see the verse again. My brothers and sisters, the times we live in, let this be your consciousness. Hallelujah. See the verse again. Hallelujah. Jerome 31 verse 6. Be strong. Courageous. You see, Courageous. Dare to believe God's word. And firm. Do not waver. Be resolute. Fear not, nor be in terror before them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Go to verse 7. And Moses called Joshua and said to him, In the sight of all Israel, be strong and courageous and firm. For you shall go with these people into the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them and shall cause them to possess it. Shall cause them to possess it. Or verse 8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will march with you. He will not fail you or let you go or forsake you. Let there be no cowardice or flinching. But fear not. Neither become broken in spirit, depressed, dismayed, and unnerved with alarm. Oh, oh. See, this clear make that clear here. Everything is your consciousness. God will not fail you. If you are facing a health challenge, God will not fail you. If you are facing whatever you are facing, let it be your consciousness. God will not fail you. Now you speak it. Make it remember for yourself. You start, when you face it, say, hang on. You start talking to yourself. Says, God will not fail me. It doesn't matter what Satan brings in your path. Say, God will not fail me. I will make it. I sh- if you, even if you don't say, you will die any time. This sickness is terminal. They can't do anything. You shall say, I shall live and not die. My God will not fail me. Let it be your consciousness. God will not fail you. Let's read the same verses in the Message Bible. Okay, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6 to 8 in the Message Bible. You will love how it paraphrases these verses. Watch. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong. Take courage. Don't be intimidated. Don't give them a second thought because God, your God, is striding ahead of you. Hallelujah. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. I'll keep the verse on the screen. Watch it says. Be- do not be afraid. Why? Because God, which God? Your God, the one and only true God. He's striding ahead of you. Ha. Striding ahead. Moving ahead of you. Things have been taken care of. Moving ahead of you. And he's also right there with you. He's ahead of you. And where you are, he's right there with you. Hallelujah. That situation. And guess what? He won't let you down. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. Let this be your consciousness. My God, do not fail me. 
My God is standing ahead of me. My God is right here with me. My God will not let me down. Hallelujah. My God will never leave me. Let it be your consciousness. God will never fail you. Let's go to verse 7. Jeremiah verse 7. Hallelujah. Then Moses summoned Joshua. He said to him, with all Israel watching, Be strong. Take courage. You will enter the land with these people. This land that God promised their ancestors that he would give them. You will make them the proud possessors of it. Go to verse 8. Jeremiah 3 verse 8. God is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. Do not be intimidated. Don't worry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let it be your consciousness. God will not fail you. Let it be your consciousness. In these end times, God will not fail you. He will not let you down. Hallelujah. Do not be intimidated. God will not fail you. In the business, in your studies, among your friends, in your church, wherever you are, God will not let you down. It doesn't matter the politics in your nation. It doesn't matter the corruption. It doesn't matter. God will not let you down. God will not fail you. Hallelujah. Let's read from the Amplified Zechariah 8, verse 13. Zechariah 8, verse 13. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Zechariah 8, verse 13. It is written, And as you have been a curse and a byword among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong and hardened. Let your hands be what? Strong and hardened. Be strong. Be hardened. Be tough. You'll be a blessing. God will not fail you. You'll be a blessing. Let's go and read um, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 3 and 4 in the Amplified. Deuteronomy 20, verse 3 and 4 in the Amplified. Deuteronomy 20, verse 3 and 4. And shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, you draw near this day to battle against your enemies. Let not your minds and hearts faint. Fear not, and do not tremble or be terrified, and in dread because of them. Verse 4. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. God wants to save you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Now you can say, Pastor, that's in the New Test- that's in the Old Testament. Don't worry. In the New Testament, hallelujah. In the New Testament right now. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's go to John 14 verse 1 in the Amplified. John 14 verse 1 in the Amplified. Do not let your hearts be troubled, distressed agitated. You believe in and adhere to and trust in and rely on God. Believe in and adhere to and trust in and rely also on me. Don't let your hearts be troubled. God will not fail you. God verse 26, John 14 verse 26 and 27 and we end there. John 14 verse 26 and 27 the Amplified. But the comforter, the counselor, the helper, the intercessor, advocate, strengthener, stand by the Holy Spirit Whom the Father will send in my name, in my place. He represents me and acts on my behalf. He will teach you all things. And your cause to recall will remind you of, bring to your remembrance everything I have told you. Verse 27. Go to verse 27. Peace I live with you. My own peace I now give and bequeath to you. Not as the world gives, I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. And do not permit, hallelujah, and do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. Hallelujah. God will not fail you. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you.